Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, hello. Can you hear me, everyone? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Ah, I can see the first one already. Hello, Erica. How are you? Hi, a little bit tired. <laughs> I imagined, but no worries because it's Friday. 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 <laughs> <laughs> do you work? Uh, do you work on weekends? Yes. <laughs> oh, yes, <it> <laughs> both days. I mean, Saturday and Sunday? It depends. If it's crowdy or saturation. Okay. <laughs> it could be a Saturday or Sunday. Oh, that's difficult. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> but, but, we um... have, but we have two days off per week. Ah, mm. so you already had day off. Yes, actually, this week we has three days. I don't mm. know why. <laughs> like a mini vacation. Like a mini vacation. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Yes. That's good. All right. Yeah. <laughs> well, nice. That's nice. I can see who else is there. Ah, I can see Antonio. Hello, Antonio. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? I'm tired. This tired I wish too? To be sleeping. I'm sorry? I wish to be sleeping. <laughs> yes, I know, I know. But no worries, only two hours and then you can go to sleep. No worries, it's Friday. So how about you, Antonio? Do you work on weekends? Yes, also. I have to work. Yes. Oh my God! Only, only tomorrow, just tomorrow. Ah, pretty good. My so day. Sunday yeah. off. My day is Sunday. Yes. Ah, very good. Excellent, excellent. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the class. It's Friday, everyone. Do you have any plans for the weekend? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> studying English right doing yeah. homework <laughs> practice but I know I know that you will be practicing English you will be working on the platform but besides that do you have any plans for the weekend no uh -huh. for me no just to stay with my kids <laughs> okay yeah and That's do you <laughs> do you work on on weekends? No, no. Ah, okay, that's great. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyone else? How about you, Fatima? Do you work on weekends? No. Ah, that's great. Any plans for the weekend? No, finish the homework. <laughs> ah, very responsible. <laughs> okay, I like that. Very good, very good. Okay, welcome everybody. I'm really happy to see you here in the class. Thank you so much for being on time. And thank you so much for keeping the camera on. I like that. Okay, and let's see, let's see. Well, it's Friday. Basically, we are finishing the first week, okay? So a couple of weeks more and we will go to the next level, everyone. So you are doing such a beautiful job. You are doing great. So keep going. Now, let's talk about the platform. Huh. I'm going to share with you how the platform is going. Okay, can you see the platform? Let me try to do it bigger. Let's see, let's see. Okay, can you see the platform? Yes. Yes. Okay, some of you already finished the platform. So 
such a great job. Um, some of you haven't even started. So that's a little bit worried, okay? So nice job for the ones that already finished the week number one. Some of you are in the middle, basically. And some of you are about to finish. Some of you uh, just need a couple of exercises in order to finish. But again, some of you need to work a lot, okay? So I'm going to upgrade uh, these notes um, today, right? After the class, I'm going to send the scores. I know that some of you um, cannot work during the week because of work. Um, so please, if you're going to work during the weekend, do it, but be responsible. I mean, you really had to finish the week number one during the weekend because I'm going to upgrade uh, these grades on Monday morning. So if you haven't finished the week number one, so imagine we will start the week number two and you will have a lot of work accumulated, okay? So if you will work on weekends, okay, but finish the platform on weekend, okay? Um, so some of you, again, such a beautiful job because you already finished. Excellent. The ones who haven't finished, please keep working on that. Now, attendance. So everyone, we are finishing the week number one. Some of you already missed some classes. Some of you haven't, okay? But remember everyone, you need to get the 80% in attendance. So you had to be in the class, connect all the minutes, all right? Two hours, 120 minutes, no less, okay? Um, so uh, some of you are, have a good attendance, but again, some of you already missed some classes. So be careful with that. Don't miss the classes and you have to connect all the time, the two hours. In the attendance, I write the numbers. I mean, how much, uh, how many minutes you connected. So be careful with that because I don't want you to have any problems uh, to this uh, aspect, okay? Any question everyone about the attendance or about the platform? I have a question, teacher. Yes, Adelaide, go ahead. Um, I see uh, that my progress in the platform is lower and I only I only have uh, to do the, um, the homework for today's class. So I don't know why is so low the, the, the grade. Well, in that case, uh, you have to check that you have finished all the exercises. Um, because in this moment, I can see it's a little bit low, your score. Mm -hmm. um, so you have to check, verify all the exercises just to see if you have the grades for all of them. Remember, everyone, be careful sometimes, and this happened uh, to some students. When they finished an exercise, sometimes the connection fail exactly in the moment that they send the answers. So that's why they didn't get the point. And some others is because maybe they finished uh, some of the exercises they didn't realize that there were some other six exercises that they didn't complete. So verify it, please. And when you finish the exercise that is missing, I'm going to check the grades again to see if it is uh, upgraded, okay? Just to verify it. if still you, I mean, imagine that you finish all the exercises, you got the score, and I will check. If there is an issue, I'm going to report it, okay? Okay. Very good. Also, everyone, remember that the score depends on the answers. 
right? Sometimes we can do an exercise, but we got incorrect answers. So that is going to affect our scores a little bit too. If you have a lower score, you can repeat the exercise and try to get a better score. And always, if you have questions with an exercise, if you don't understand, you can tell me or send it in the group and we try to help. I was trying to help some of you um, with some of the exercises. So if you have doubts or you need help, please tell me and I will try to help you, okay? I don't know if anyone else have another question. Teacher, I have problems with wool wool rather. Wool rather? Yes, exercise. Okay, I don't know exactly which homework is that. I don't know the number. Is the 1.3 or the one point? I don't know exactly. You can send me the um the screenshot if you want and I will help you with that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, also guys, when you need help, um, you can send me the screenshot, I will try to help you. There is a part in the homework that I think that is in the homework 1.5, if I'm not wrong. Important everyone, in this part, you have to type, you have to write the answers. I'm going to share uh, the screen. Can you see it, what I'm sharing right now? Yes. Look, in this homework, you have to put the words in order and you have to type. This homework is very important. Because if one letter is wrong, everything is wrong, okay? So imagine that you type all the sentence correctly, but you forget a letter A, or you forget the letter T, everything will be wrong, okay? So when you type, you have to be very, very careful. And another detail, at the end of the sentence, you need to add the final point, okay? If you, at the end of the sentence, you don't write the last point or the final point, the answer will be incorrect too, okay? Some people uh, that had that issue, they had a correct answer, but they forgot the final point. So if you don't write the final point, even if your answer is correct, the system is not going to give you the point. So in this exercise, when you have to write, you have to be careful, okay? Write everything correctly. Don't miss any word, any letter, and don't forget the final point. Got it? Yes? I don't know if it is this one, eh, Fatima, the exercise which you have problem with. The second. The second sentence? Yes. Okay. Um, well, in this case, you just have to put, I think that we did this exercise during the class, if I'm not wrong. So many distributors would rather much. In this case, everyone, you can write would rather much or would much rather. Si lo escriben así como... Eh, like this, would rather much, y el sistema se los toma incorrectos, cambien la posición del much, y el much colóquenlo a la par del would. Would much rather. So sometimes the system makes that mistake, so you can take it like this. A veces por eso les da error también. Okay? Try it. Eh, si le sigue dando error, me avisa, please. And we can verify it. Okay, teacher. Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me.
Okay, we are going to wait for Mandalino. I don't know if anyone else had a question. No? Okay, I'm in here again. again. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Okay, I, I have trouble with the number one, the number two, and the number five. I shake again, again, and, and again, and nothing. And okay. number five means I, 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 I ask you, and, uh, and number five, the letter A is missing. Letter A before, a, before grade is missing a word you, you told me. Mm -hmm. And if that's correct at the end? Yes, yeah. now it's correct, but it's missing in the... In, in the, the exercise. Yeah, in the exercise, because it, it's the same, it's the same run that I have. Okay. Okay. I'm going, what what word is? Let a, me letter A. I'm going it's to show you. We did this exercise in the class. Let me show you. Um, let's see. Okay, give me a second. Let's see, let's see. Let's see. Okay, this is the exercise that you had in, in the platform, right? Specifically this one in the homework 1.5. So mm -hmm. the problem here, for example, in which number? I think that the number five is giving you issues, right? Yep. Yeah, number okay, five. what happens here, everyone, is in the exercise, and this is a mistake, uh, like a typing mistake of the platform. So what happens here? It says with great caution, okay? Look, with great caution. The problem is that the correct phrase is with a great caution. So, I mean, no es culpa de ustedes, right? Basically, porque en el ejercicio antes de great, aquí debería haber una letra A, pero no aparece. Por eso es que el ejercicio se los toma incorrectos. Entonces, algunos de ustedes por ahí me estaban preguntando y yo les mandaba las respuestas. Entonces, antes de great, agréguenle la letra A. Entonces, la respuesta va a ser with a great caution. All right. Lo mismo sucede con la number, let's see, let's see. I think that is the number two. Porque en el ejercicio, y repito, este también es como un error de typing de la plataforma. El ejercicio dice would rather much. So el much lo han colocado después del rather. Pero en la respuesta, si se fijan, el sistema, si ustedes lo colocan así como much rather, eh, would rather much, se los va a tomar equivocados. Entonces, ¿qué tienen que hacer ustedes? Tienen que escribirlo como would much rather. So, primero el would, luego el much y luego el rather. El much iría en medio. Ok, so, look. Por eso es que algunos se los toma como equivocados. So that is like some details, specifically in the number two and in the number five. Este es como más como problema de la platform en el typing, que basically, I mean, no es culpa de ustedes, right? I totally understand. No sé si hay otro ejercicio de estos en los que les aparezca equivocados. And don't forget the final point. Si no le colocan el punto final, también se los va a tomar equivocados. Así que, if you want, you can take a screenshot from this exercise and Teacher, verify the, your exercise. Yes? The number, the number one is, is like you have. You have. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I took a screenshot. I have the answers. Yeah, took a screenshot, everyone. 
And you can verify your answer. Si aún así le sigue dando issues, si aún así le sale como equivocados, me avisan, please. So, voy a verificar y vamos a ver qué es lo que les está dando problemas. Algunos de ustedes ya terminaron los exercises and I can see that you got a 10, good score. So, but the ones who had issues, please let me know. Okay, did you take the screenshot already? Yes. Yes, thank you. Okay. The teacher, yeah, I, I already checked the number five. And okay. I think so that my mistake is and love cost. Okay, um, I I wrote that without um, the dash. I held, yes, without dash. Um, and the dash is with the both work together or no? Yes. Okay, I will check. Try. Yes, it's okay. Thank you. <laughs> it's right. Now you get the correct answer? Yeah. Yes, I get. All right. Good. So if you see anyone, and this is something that you have to keep in mind for all the exercises when you have to type, you have to be very careful because one letter is wrong, <laughs> everything will be wrong. Okay, so be careful with that. And I know in some exercises, it's not your mistake. Maybe sometimes it's a platform mistake. So, but always when you get those issues, let me know. So I will check and I will share with you the correct answer. Okay, because I have the idea is that you get a good score. All right. Uh, I don't know. Any other question about the platform? Anyone? No? Okay. Before continue, I'm going to check attendance. So when you listen to your names, say present. Uh, Carlos Abrego? Present. Okay. Christian Alexander? Okay, I think Christian is there, but he's listener. Okay, thank you. Um, Erika Yasmin? Present. Very good. Fatima eh, Denise? Present. Good. Gabriel Beltran? Oh, he's listener too. Yes, okay. Um, Hector Francisco? Present teacher. Very good. Isabel Hernandez? Present, Miss. Very good. Ivan Guzman? Ivan, no? Okay. Jamie Raquel? Present. Very good. Holman Giron? Okay, very good. Lucy Juarez? Present. Excellent. Magdalena Escalante? Present, teacher. Very good. Nelson Antonio? Present. Very good. Oscar Armando? Present. Very good. Pamela Carolina? Present. All right. Rosalina Alvarado? Present, teacher. Very good. Selvin Adonai? Present. Okay, thank you. And Mirna Elizabeth? Present. Very good. Okay, let's start everyone. Do you remember the topic that we studied yesterday? Uh-huh, what was the topic? Oh About God. not count and account. <laughs> uh-huh, okay. I, 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 I say wrong. <laughs> <laughs> No worries, no worries. Okay, so we checked countables and uncountables. And what else? We were talking about quantifiers. Quantifiers, that's the one. And uh, what quantifiers do you remember? For example, we checked a lot of, what else? A few. Ah, very good. 
Ajá. Many. Very good. Vamos. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see some of you remember, but some of you are like, what? Mm. I hope you don't forget the topics. Now, I'm sharing the presentation. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes. Excellent. Okay, so today is March 24th, and we are basically finishing the week number one. So we are going to have a weekly review, and then we are going to check the topic that we had for today. So let's start with the vocabulary. Let's see if you remember. Yesterday and, and these days before, we had been talking about uh, some vocabulary, and we checked the marketing strategies. So when a product is suffering marketing saturation, uh, there are a lot of competitors, what strategies can we use? I will give you an example. Buy one, get one free. What could be another strategy? Let's see if you remember the vocabulary. Two for one. Ah, very good. Two for one. What else? Contest. Contest, yes. What else? Lo loyalty schemes. Schemes, yes. Very good. Anything else? What else? What else do you remember? Regular free information. Very good. Those are the ones. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. So we got another ones like limited time offers and seasonal discounts, but so far so good. Now we're going to have this practice. Have you ever played the hangman? Yes. Do you yeah, know this sometimes game? in my <laughs> life. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's nice. <laughs> okay, look, we are going to have this game. Um, we are going to do it again, girls versus boys. Who were the winners last time? The boys were the winners, right? I don't remember. Yes, yes? yes. the boys? Yes. Okay, so this is their revenge, <laughs> all right? So... The idea is here there are some words that we studied in the class. Okay, so you have to tell me letters and you have to find the correct word before you died. Okay, so let's start with the boys because the boys were the winners. Only the boys. Okay, boys, give me letters and guess the word. Give me letters. Letter B? Letter B. No. <laughs> Think about the vocabulary that we studied in the class from Monday till yesterday. Another letter, boys? D. Letter D as in David? David, yes. No. no. <laughs> Be careful, boys. <laughs> quickly, quickly, give me more letters. G. G. Gabriela. Okay. Yes, we got Growth. that one. Are you sure? No. Growth. Oh, look at this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that was the word. So, boys, you got one point. Very good job. Okay, it's the turn of girls. Okay, girls, give me letters. G. Okay, G as in Gabriela? Yes. No. A? A. No. 
Letter D. D as in David? Yes. Yes. Maybe the client? Okay, spell it. Okay. <laughs> D E C L I N E. Look at this. <laughs> Decline girls. Too easy, very good. So girls, you got one point. Okay, boys, <laughs> look at the happy face of the hangman because he didn't die. Boys, it's your turn. This is a little bit longer. Okay, boys, give me letters. If you don't say letters, you will lose the point. Letter E. Letter E. E as in elephant? No, we don't have it. What else? What else? Come on, boys. Maybe the... Okay, Antonio, which one? Little N. N as in Nancy? No, M. M as in Mary? Yes. Ooh, no. A teacher with S, maybe? Letter S. Yes, we have. Saturation. Are you sure? Okay, spell it. No. A. Okay. A T. Uh huh. U. R. 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 Uh huh. N. I. I. Uh huh. O N. Very good. Uh -huh. Nice job. Nice job. Okay, boys, you got another point. Excellent. Okay, let's see. Girls, give me letters. W? W. No. Letter A. E and then A. Yes, we have E. And yes, we have letter A too. Uh-huh. What else? D. D as in David? Yes. Ooh, no. Letter C. Okay. Yes. I know that one. What is it? Ah, increase. Okay, spell it. It's an A N C R E A S. Okay. I, the first one is I. I. Yes. Um, Increase. Very good. Bravo, Very Erika. Good. Nice job. Salvadas. <laughs> okay. Very good. So it's a tie. This is the last word. Okay. So the first team to guess the word is the winner. So in this moment, girls and boys both can participate. The first who guessed the answer is the winner. Okay. Give me letters. Letter A. Okay. Yes, we have letter A. What else? What else? Girls and boys. Both can participate. What's the word? L. Letter L. Ooh, no, we don't have letter L. Quickly, quickly.
Uh -huh. Yes. Letter S. Hmm. Come on. <laughs> Boys, you can also participate. You have to guess the word. Letter E. E. Yes. Decrease. Increase. Ah, decrease. the correct one is decrease. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So the point is for the girls. The <laughs> girls are the winners. Very good. Okay. So everyone, yeah. always try to practice the vocabulary. Okay, that's the most important thing. I don't want you to forget the, the vocabulary, okay? Now, in the previous class, we studied the um, quantifiers, okay? Here, I have this picture as a summary about what we studied yesterday, okay? For example, a lot of, we can use a lot of or plenty of, with both countables and uncountables. What kind of sentences? A lot of is more for affirmative sentences. What happens with many? Many, it's only for countables. Affirmative, negative, or questions. What type of sentences can I use with many? Look. Negative. Question. Negative and questions. Then we have much. Uncountables is the same. Negative and questions. Then we have a few is for countables. A little is for uncountables. Here we have another quantifier that is very common, but we didn't study that yesterday. And is a bit or a bit of. In this case, a bit of, it's for uncountable. The meaning is the same as a little. Okay, they are synonyms. Okay, and a bit of, you can use it in affirmative, in negative, or in questions. All right. Then we have some, some is for both but only for affirmative sentences. Then we have any, again, any is for both, but only for negative and questions. So basically that is what we studied yesterday. Do you have any question, everyone, about these quantifiers? No? Okay, if you don't have questions, let's do a practice. I have here some sentences and we are going to check what will be the correct answer. For example, look at in the number one. We spend two, what do you think? A lot of money, many money or much money? Too much. Much. Much money. Okay, we spend too much money on our last holiday. All right. How about the number two, volunteer for reading? A lot of time. Okay. Um, read the full sentence, please. Don't worry, we have a lot of time. A lot of time, okay. Number three, volunteer, please. Uh -huh. Did many people come to your party? Okay, can you repeat? Did... Uh -huh. Isabel, what was the answer? Sorry. Did many people come to your party? Did many people come to your party? All right. Number four, volunteer. I don't usually drink much beer. All right, much beer. Number five. 
volunteer for the number five. He didn't take uh -huh. much effort to repaint the house. Mm, all right. So look at this one. Maybe this word can be a little bit confusing, but effort. Can we count the effort? No. Not really. We cannot say one effort, uh, two efforts, three efforts. Not really. Right? Now, how about the number six? What would be the answer here? I only speak a little English. A little yes, English. A little. All right, number seven. A few people. Okay, there were only a few people at the party. Number eight. Any much of sugar little. for the much of sugar. A little. Hmm. Okay. A little bit. A bit. A little bit. <laughs> okay, I heard three different answers. Some of you say, <laughs> I need much of sugar, I need a little of sugar, and I need a bit of sugar for the cake. A so little. everyone? A little? A little? A little, a little. A little of sugar? A little. Okay. A little. I think it's a bit. A bit? <laughs> oh, <maybe. laughs> I think Marie, right? I think Marie. <laughs> que dice la mayoría? That's, that's, will be most of you. Okay, I need a bit. Well, we are going to choose that one. We are going to see the answers and then we are going to verify which one was the correct. Number nine, I hope it will rain. There isn't. Da, 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 water in the reservoir. Mm -hmm. Much. There much. isn't much, much water. Much water. Much yes, much water. water. Much okay. water. And the last one. How? Sí, uh -huh. many. Many. How much? How much? It's much, it's uncountable. It's much. Ah, yes, it's ah, uncountable. Sub is, is, is countable, no? It's countable. It's countable. It's countable. Okay. Yes. Many, it's many. Many? Many. How many? Many is how long? <laughs> or no, it's uncountable. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how many okay pay attention here and here is where you have to be careful it's not plural that it's, is the key yeah. that's the key imagine if I have for example look at this in this way I have apple apple is countable or uncountable uncountable Uncountable? It's countable. It's countable. Okay. <laughs> I have apple. Can I say many apple? Many apple. Can I say that? Many apples. Ah, yes. if I want to use many, it has to say apples. Many yes. apples. So this is the same example here. Because the word is sop. So can I say many sop or much? much? So what do you think? Much. Much? Are you sure? Yes, okay. Because it's, it's, it's not plural. It's, ah, it's, it's. That's the key. That's the key. Okay, everyone. Do you think that all the answers are correct? Or do you want to change one of these ones? Okay, let's see the answers. Un punto menos por cada mistake. <laughs> one point less for each mistake. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my gosh, look at this. Very good job. All your answers were correct. So now you are experts about quantifiers. Very good job. Okay, we are going to do one more practice. 
this exercise is um, in your manuals in the page 15. So I have here sentences and I want you to identify if the sentence is correct or if the sentence is incorrect. If you consider that the sentence is incorrect, you have to tell me what is the mistake and what will be the correct answer. For example, the number one. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the sentence number one. I will write. Mm -hmm. Jana projected the new product will not, will not attract much customers. Thank you. What do you think? The sentence is correct? Yes or no? Okay, Marsh. Customers I don't know. is 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 countable uh -huh. because because um, it's because <laughs> it's plural much for plural customers. I don't know how many how uh, how, <laughs> how many customers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, so is correct the sentence or not? I think, in my opinion, that you can use many, many customers because it's, it's, it's plural. Okay, so okay. instead of much, you said that the correct answer must be many. Yes, I think. <laughs> I think, in, in my opinion, but I know. Yes, Actually, I think many. Yes, actually your answer is correct. This sentence, everyone is incorrect. Customers, customer is countable or uncountable? Countable. Is countable. Can I use much with countables? No, never. She's uncountable. So the correct one is many. So Dana many. projected the new product will not attract many customers. So that's the correct answer. Very good job. We cannot use much with countables. Okay, everyone, I will give you three minutes. Read the sentences, analyze them, identify if the sentence is correct or if the sentence is wrong. And you had to tell me what will be the correct answer. You have three minutes. Analyze the sentences, and then we are going to check the answers. Go ahead.
Read carefully, everyone, so you can identify the mistakes. If you don't find any mistake, well, maybe it's because the sentence is correct. Are you ready, everyone? Okay, let's see the sentence number two. I need a volunteer for reading, please. Uh-huh. Yes, go ahead. It is necessary to re review some of the components of the marketing strategy. Thank you. So what do you think, everyone? The sentence is correct? Or do you see any mistake? For me, it's correct. Okay. It's correct. Me is correct. Me is correct too. In my opinion, too. Is correct? Yep. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> Actually, it's correct. Very good job, Come everyone. On. So if you see, some is for both countables or uncountables mm -hmm. and is for affirmative sentence so super correct okay nice job volunteer for reading the number three please hi teacher yes before sales decline it is essential that we implement a great deal of modification thank you what do you think everyone is this sentence correct or not? I don't know, teacher. For, for me, it's a many. Uh, it's, it's essential, essential that we implement many, many of, I don't know. So you think many, many that the word a great deal is incorrect? For me, it's correct. I think, teacher, that uh, a great deal, we use a great deal with non countable and modifications is countable in plural. So I think we can use a lot of modifications. Mm, okay, interesting. Rosalina, what do you think? Uh, me too, miss. So in this case, no, you think that a great deal, so that is the incorrect word. Yes. It Actually, for a, a lot of. Very <coughs> good. Totally, everyone. So this sentence is incorrect. Mm -hmm. As your classmate said, a great deal that is for uncountables modification is countable. countable so instead of a great deal we can use a lot okay a lot of modifications nice very good excellent job okay volunteer for reading the number four please can i teacher yes uh, lend Plenty of our customers have expressed satisfaction, satisfaction with the product. Okay. So what do you think, everyone? Is this sentence correct? Yes or no? In my, yes. in my yes, opinion, it's correct. It's Are you correct. sure? Yes, you can use uh, plenty and both. Uh -huh. um, and countable and, and countable. Definitely. Very good, everyone. I liked it. Very good. Very good. Okay. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the number three, uh, number five. I'm sorry. Can I? Yes, of course. <laughs> a little competitor have established low prices for products similar to ours. Thank you. Hi, uh -huh, everyone. What do you think? Is that correct? A, a little. A little. <laughs> <laughs> no. So definitely this sentence is not correct, right? The word a little. Mm -mm. So what will be the best option here? Few. A few. Ah, very good. A few, right? Because we are talking about competitors. Competitors is countable. Nice job. Okay, volunteer for reading the last one, please.
Only one. Okay, me teacher. Yes. Supermarkets have pieces many orders of green tortricas this week. Thank Please you. Correct. <laughs> Is that correct? Yes. Okay, the rest of you, everyone, do you agree? Is that correct? Yes. yes. Are you sure? Yes, I, I agree. Yes, <laughs> definitely is correct. Very good job. Very good job. So if you see everyone, this is the way that we can use quantifiers. Easy or difficult? What do you think? Confused. <laughs> we, a little bit confused. A little bit confused. We need to memorize that. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. Definitely. So the most important, everyone, and the key is to recognize if it is countable or uncountable. That is like the priority. Okay. And then just identify is. Um, affirmative or negative or is that a question but the most important is to identify if it is countable or uncountable got it got yes it. great any questions everyone no no questions nope okay if you don't have questions well I do. <laughs> it's time for a uh, speaking practice, okay? And we are going to talk basically using the uh, quantifiers. For example, look at the first question. What is something you have too much of? Look, much of. So can I answer? with countable nouns in this answer? Ah, I have much apples. <laughs> Is that correct? Can I answer like that? Ah, I have too much apples. Is that correct? Oh, um, the answer, no. No, mm -hmm. right? So what will be a good answer for this one? What is something that you have too much of? It can be much money or much ah, water. Very good. Yes. Ah, you know what, everyone? I have too much money. Oh, look at that. So pay attention here. Normally, when we use the word to, what is the meaning of to in this type of sentence? I have too much. What is the meaning of that? What is the translation? Muchísimo de. Muchísimo de, mm, similar, similar. Suficiente. <laughs> Mm, no, <laughs> not really. This is like demasiado. Demasiado. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So when we use too much, normally we understand a little bit negative. Okay. So for example, I can say, well, I have too much stress. So stress is something positive or negative? It's negative, maybe. Negative. Mm -hmm. So what is something that you have too much of? I, I have too much hot weather. <laughs> I have too much traffic in the morning when I go to work. So those are the answers that you can use in the question number one. Is it clear, the question number one? Yes? Everyone? Is it clear? The answer teacher have to be non-countable, right? Yes, correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I have different more questions, everyone. So please be careful, try to correct 
using, I mean, try to answer correctly using these quantifiers. I'm going to send the questions on WhatsApp groups. And again, we are going to go and practice with our classmates. I know that today we have some listeners. Okay, but the ones that are not listeners, please practice. Remember that we are trying to improve our speaking side uh, skills. So if you want to get better, so you need to practice more. Okay, in this moment, please zero Spanish. I don't want anyone talking in Spanish, please. Everybody talking in English. Okay, are you ready, everyone? Yes. Yes, I am. Excellent. I already sent the questions on WhatsApp groups. Let's go and practice. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I was alone in the last classroom. <laughs> yeah. Jamie, maybe your your phone is off or I can see. Oh <laughs> yeah. okay. Me and the teacher. Okay. Nice to meet you, Mirna. Nice to meet you, Erika. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I fall asleep. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> we have tired. Yeah, it's Friday. Yeah. But it's, it's, the la it's the last class. <laughs> the week. In this week. <laughs> this week, yeah. The last this week. This week, yeah. Hi, Jimmy. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Nice to see you. Like, uh, yeah, nice, nice to, to see you again. again. <laughs> to see you again. Okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. Okay. The first one we answer in the last uh, room. What about the second one? How much free time do you have? The second, the <laughs> you second, the second question. <laughs> you have free time. <laughs> During the weekend, maybe. <laughs> yes, no. I have. <laughs> no, I don't have. Yes, no, I don't no, have. Enough, no enough. Yeah, but maybe. Not enough. Sunday. <laughs> oh, I have to work Sundays. Oh, you have to work uh, during the week, the weekends, all weekends, or just. Uh, it depends. Maybe one depends. week, the next one not, and the next one yes. Oh, what are you and Jamie, yes. where are I, I work in, in the week of Monday to Friday, but in Saturday and Friday, we I to attend a family bus business. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so You're do you think do you have... <laughs> Do you, do, you, do you think you have free time during your week? What? Do you have free time? During the week or you don't have free time? Almost, almost nothing. Uh, only in them, the, the only them uh, Sundays? The, only on Sundays. In the after, in the in the afternoon, only. Only, oh, oh, hmm? yeah. You are busy. So you go to the, the church week. in the morning. What? You go to the church in the morning. No, I in the mor in the morning on Sundays. I in the familiar business. 
Oh, yeah, nice. she working. She, I understand that she, you work it during the weekend with your family oh, of um, business. Yeah, it's busy. <laughs> there's, there's, do you do you believe in aliens? <laughs> do you have a lot of money? <laughs> I have a. I have a. I have a lot of. Distraction. <laughs> you have a lot of distractions to say. <laughs> a lot, a lot. <laughs> yes, I lot of my wife, my son, my daughter. Oh. Everything is uh, is shutting down. <laughs> it's a lot of distraction. <laughs> it's good for me. It's good. She's beating me. <laughs> Hey, if 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 I want I want to talk about the traffic, if much or is many the traffic. Traffic is uncomfortable. Is man is uh, is much. Is much. I think. Yeah. Uh, every every every. Uh, Frida, I have a lot. No, uh, the much traffic. Every Friday. Every Friday. Uh -huh. How many planets do you think that it's that have life on them? I think maybe um, some of them, <laughs> but we <yes>. don't know. <laughs> yeah, we don't know that. I that, love that planets. Yes, I think I'll, maybe a lot of planets, but yes, I think so. Uh -huh, but but maybe not uh, intelligent life. <laughs> the only, only. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, but I think maybe there's life in many planets, but we don't know. Yet. <laughs> okay. The number four. What is something that your government spends too much money on? Everything. <laughs> what? No. Everything. Everything in everything. <laughs> um, it spends too much money on. I think they spend too much money in 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 what it's not important. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? Um. <clears throat> How I do you say they just, um what they, what Fatima because I think this they they spend too much money on their salaries. <laughs> no spend <laughs> Spend just, but, but what what you are spending nothing <laughs> on, on their vacation? <laughs> I guess they vacation. They uh, vacation in the Bahamas. But they but they say we spend uh, too much money on security. On school, they say that, but we don't know. Yes, now we can say that they are spent a lot of money in the in the in security and in the uh, in the new jail. Yes, yes. there Oops. there is a lot of money. <laughs> So I think there is two. There Venus. 
But in case I don't know because I I uh I don't I don't know. I don't has been explored. Really? Yes. Yeah. I don't yeah. have a a, a a rocket. Yes, I. I don't have it. Never, never, for me, never has been exploring the old planet. The universe. Yes, I, I don't know. We don't know, but there, the reason that the, the life can exist outside the the world, it's maybe true, like right? I think, I, I believe there exists some life outside here i believe but i don't i don't know what in what planets it's a very interesting question and the four what is something that you government spends too much money on in bitcoin i think yes in bitcoin much money Hello. Hello. Hi. And the next, what is something that your government spends too much money on? What is something? What is that something your government spends too much money spend in the in construction? I think. In, in this, in, in the last days, I think in constructions, in new projects to, 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 to the, the highway, to infrastructure, I don't for building, and maybe, in the in the army, the army and the police. And yeah, Nayib, Nayib is spending much money in the in in security. Yes, security, yeah. security yeah. points. In constructions and projects of highway, new highways to new, new building uh, and new uh, attractive uh, tourist attractive uh, as a tourist city yes but uh, but i think he naiv is spending too much money on bitcoin investment Okay, time's up. We are going to wait for everyone to go back to the main room. Time's up. Let's go back to the main room. Okay, okay. Let's go back, let's go back. Okay, let's see. How did you feel the practice? Was it easy or difficult? And it was easy. We were talking about the weather, where we live. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of gossips. Huh? Gossip, gossip. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. I was listening. <laughs> All right. So, so everyone. Did you answer all the questions? Yes. 50-50. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, did you listen to any word in Spanish? 
or full English? No, a few. <laughs> a few words in Spanish, okay. My, my partner, my partner, my partners have a lot, a lot of words for in English, and it is very, it's very uh, smart for uh -huh. speak English. In my case, it's opposite. <laughs> I, 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 need, I need many. I need translate in my mind. Okay. Maybe each word. It's not, I, I, I know it's not good, but, but. But with the practice, <laughs> with the practice, don't get frustrated. I know that is very common, and this is something that happens to everyone who is learning the language. First, we translate in our minds, and it's totally common. But with the time, with the practice, believe me, there is a point where you are not going to translate anymore. You will see that. Así que don't get frustrated. Hector, you will do it. You will see. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. All right. So, <laughs> my pleasure. Everyone, tell me, uh, how many planets do you think have life on them? What do you think? In my group, we talk about one planet, and I remember it's Mars. <laughs> mm, so do you believe that there are life on them? Uh, uh, maybe. On Mars? Maybe mm. it's possible. Could be. Imagine actually, the universe it, is so big. Uh -huh. it's so big. Yeah, actually, actually, in our team, we talk about Mars, too, because a few years ago, uh, they found bacteria, yes. Ah, there, that's so true. That's <laughs> that kind of life. <laughs> could be i mean it's saying life it doesn't mean that it has to be human beings right it's just life nice now um what is something that your government spends too much money on bitcoin investment okay <laughs> definitely <laughs> uh -huh. right now right now is in security a lot of soldiers a lot of policemen and police women a lot That's of true. people for security. So this is the moment, everyone. If you want to be a police officer or a soldier, <laughs> this is the moment. <laughs> what else? Anything the else? The army. <laughs> Part of Policy, the army. <laughs> publicity yes, for, the, for the next um, contest of Miss okay. Universe, I think, is, is maybe oh. a last of year. That's true. That's true. I was checking some publicity about it. Mm -hmm. Publicity and the no, um, no publicity is in investment in the Olympic game in in on Olympic games. Yeah, oh, really. The investment, yeah, the investment because in the in the street or in the um, stadium. Ah, you can see that, yeah, you can see that yeah. they are... Um, they never finish. But, yeah. <laughs> but they, <laughs> they never finish, yeah. <laughs> they never finished, but they are working on it. Okay, <laughs> nice. Okay, everyone, the last question. How much time do you spend on your cell phone? Huh? A lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, everyone. How much time do you, okay, let's keep it simple. How much time do you spend on social networks? It is a complicated question because I I work in WhatsApp. I work in Facebook too. Ah, okay, that's a good point. That's a good point. And the rest of you? Uh, uh, in my case, it's the same because I work in IT and in the IT department is important, the, the phone. <laughs> uh, and now everybody works on cell phones. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. Listen, um, something that I really liked is I was listening to different groups and you are very talkative. Now everybody is talking and talking and I like that okay so keep going don't be afraid to talk um some of you can think hey es que mi compañero puede right or es que mira ella cuanto habla y yo no puedo no at the contrary cuando tengan un classmate así bien talkative take advantage 
Yeah, pregúntenle. Mira, ¿y cómo digo tal cosa? How can I say ta -da -da? So, you can help each other. So, something I really like that you talk. Most of you are talking. I know that we have some listeners today, but most of you are speaking a lot. Keep going because that's the way that we can improve. So, claps for you. Very good job. Okay, let's stop thinking about quantifiers. And now let's talk about something different. And this is the topic for today. We are going to talk about the strategies that we can use to handle the decline stage of a product. Do you remember the decline stage? Yes. It is the final stage. It is the final stage uh -huh. for the life cycle. Correct. So the decline stage is the last one. So that is what we are going to be talking about today. And this is the class objective. Volunteer for reading it, please. Can I? Yes, of course. The strategies to handle the decline stage of a product. Plus objective. To learn about how to handle the decline stage of a product. Very good. So everyone, we are going to check some vocabulary for this class. Talking about the decline stage, there are different causes, different reasons that generate the decline of a product. Okay, this information is in your manual in the page 15. So let's move on to that part. Let's see. So here I have four words, four phrases, okay? And there are different situations and those are some of the causes for a product declined. So this is what we are going to do. In this moment, I want you to match the causes with their definitions, okay? For example, the first word is obsolescence. So what is that? Read the definitions. Hmm, look at the first definition says, the presence of innovate products or services cause customers to change their tastes and preferences. Hmm, do you think it's that? Maybe not, right? I don't know. So read the definitions and I want you to try to match them. If there is a word that you don't know what the meaning is, tell me and I will help you, okay? Go ahead, try to match the causes with their definitions. You can answer in your notebooks and then we are going to see if your answers are correct or not. Go ahead. Teacher, are you there? Yes, of course. How do you pronounce and the number and the, the number four and the first line is com 
Competitiveness is right. Competitiveness. Um, in in which one? I, I don't find that word. The number two and the first uh, the first line. Com this one. Uh, yeah. Yep. Uh, let's see. <laughs> competitiveness. Competitive. Ah, competitiveness. Competitiveness. Oh, but it's double T, right? Oh, competitiveness. Yes. Sorry, sorry. I thought that it was an R. Competitiveness. Yeah. Competitiveness. I mean, what happened is that the first letter T will sound like an R. Competi. And the next T, it sounds like a T. Competitiveness. Competitiveness. That is the one. Competitiveness. Mm -hmm. Competitiveness. That's the one. Okay, shipper. The the first innovative is right. Innovative. In which one? In the first one. Oh yes. The first line. Innovative. Mm -hmm. Innovative. 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 Yes. Innovative and products. This contraction in the last one. A reduction of customers' interest. interest. Mm -hmm. customers Basically, interest. this apostrophe is just indicating the possessive. So we are talking customers' interest. It's just like that. Yeah, it's a possessive noun, right? Yes. Is the okay. possessive. Okay. Mm -hmm. Possessive, not possessive. It's possessive. Uh -huh. Possessive. It's okay. It's not it. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Okay, everybody. Did you already match the causes with these correct definitions? So what is the number one? In my opinion, is, in my opinion is, is three. International competing, that's what? No, 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 no. No, in this case is the second. The second is, yeah. A significant I, decline, that one? Yep, yep. Okay, what do you think, everyone? Yes, what is... for me, it's, it's I, agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. Very good, because that is the correct answer. Very good. Now, demand downturn. Hmm, what do you understand for that? Remember, the downturn is like going down. So, what is that? Number four. Yeah. The last A reduction. One. Uh -huh. a, reduction. a reduction of customers interest in buying a product of service Our everyone means. do you agree yes yes yes, yes. yes. definitely yes, I agree. very good very good um another reason that generates a decline is changes in customers preference hmm. what is that the first one the first one the first one are you sure? Yes. yes. Definitely. Very good job. And of course, Gobla, uh, Gobla, Gobla, okay. I'm sorry, global no. competition. What is that? Global competition. What is that? International competing companies. companies. Definitely. So imagine sometimes we have the national product, right? But there are some other international companies that offers a lot of more products or they are a little bit better or even they are cheaper. So that's why we have that global competition. Excellent job, everyone. Now, always talking about how a product can go to the decline stage. Here, we got some strategies that we can use to handle with this Stage with this problem. Again, this is in your manual in the page 16. What are some of the strategies? The first strategy that we have is lower prices. What do you think? What is that? Mm -hmm. Explain me. What is lower prices? 
Uh, maybe, maybe could be uh, when uh, a product when a product is um, downing, downing, decreasing, maybe decreasing is right. Okay. When a product is decreasing, um, um his uh, his purchase, for example, no, his buying, buying out, his buying okay. out. Uh huh. It's buying out, and then the the owner of the company or the manager of the company decide to lower the co the the cost of the product for increase the the um, the manager or the owner of the company decide um, decrease the the prices and in for for gold increase the the sales correct so basically guys uh, as your classmate said lower prices is there is a crisis in the product the product is declining it's not selling anymore so what do they need to do reduce the cost maybe the product is so expensive so when you reduce the cost maybe people will buy it okay now, repacking. Hmm, what do you think? What is that? Imagine is that a product is declining. Uh huh. Is when the company make changes about the presentation of the products. Uh huh. Very good. So, sometimes have you ever seen some products? changes uh, their appearance they change uh, the way that they presented have you ever seen that sometimes there are some products yeah. that they are like bigger <laughs> yes. or they have like a new presentation so that's what the company sometimes do they repacking the product, so maybe the product could see a little bit more attractive, right? And people will buy it. That's a good uh, strategy. Or can I miss us? Or maybe when the company decide to to two for one, for example, they need to repackaging two for one for offer in the market. Or correct, like exactly. So. The idea of repackaging everyone is basically when the company decides to present the product in a new way. Could be the presentation, could be the way that they look, or as your classmate said, depending on the promotion that they are offering. Two for one, or maybe the product will be bigger, or maybe the product will be a little bit slow, uh, smaller. So they are just presenting the product in a new way. Now, discontinuation. We already studied the word discontinue. So what will be this word, discontinuation? What do you think? Could be when the product is not, is not anymore at the market. Ah, OK. When Basically. the company decides is continue uh -huh. the product when the company decide no producer the, the, the product exactly when they, when they stop the manufacture about the line product correct so imagine if you are selling a pro if you are not selling the product what do you need to do well discontinuing it you need to interrupt the production stop it very good okay innovation what is that Teacher innovation is the same that older companies do. When, for example, the Coca-Cola company, a lot of years ago, they have a different presentation. And now they have all their presentation or refresh. It's refresh the, the, um, their image. Mm -hmm. So basically, innovation is that. So they have a product, maybe they did it, in certain way but now they change the meters or they have like a new idea 
Um, this is what the company Apple does. They have the iPhone, but what happened next year? <laughs> they will innovate and they will add new features to the cell phone. So they will have more ideas. They will have new products. That's basically innovation, okay? And the last strategy that you can use when your product is declining, co-branding. What do you think? What would be co-branding? I think it's when, when the, the company collaborates with another brand um, to create something new, new offers or something like that. Totally correct, exactly. The brands work together, right? And create a new product. Uh, there was an example with Nike and Apple, they got together and they created new products. And this has been happening with different companies. All right, so that is co-branding. So everyone, five strategies that you can use when your product is in the decline stage. You can lower the prices or you can repacking or maybe just discontinuing it. You can innovate or you can simply co-branding with another company. In your own opinion, what do you think is the best strategy? What do you think? What would be the best strategy for you? Imagine uh, that you are the owner of the company. It depends, teacher, depend on uh, the situation, the situation of the brand, mm -hmm. because um, I, the people who who knows about marketing, 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 marketing. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's correct. Okay, okay, the people who knows about that, they said, "Oh, your brand is declining because they are not are not fresh, fresh brand, for example, or mm -hmm. they, um." your product have not a good taste, have a bad image, something like that. People who knows, they, they said to the owner or to the manager, what is the trouble? Depending on the trouble, they, of the issues, you said issues. Mm -hmm. Depending on the issues, they take a decision. They, they take a decision. That's correct. Of what is what, which one is better? What's exactly what's the best uh, strategy? Good. So keep in mind the vocabulary, everyone. I can ask you the vocabulary later. Okay. So for um, imagine if I ask you, tell me five strategies that you can use if your product is in the decline stage. Ah, easy. And here you are. Okay. Now. We're going to continue talking about this topic, but first I'm going to check attendance again. So everybody, when you listen to your names, say present. Um, Carlos Abrego. Okay. Christian Alexander. Okay, very good. Erika Jasmine. Present. Very good. Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Thank you. Gabriel Beltran. Okay, very good. Hector Francisco. Present teacher. Very good. Isabel Hernandez. Present miss. Okay, very good, very good. Ivan Guzman. Okay. Jamie Raquel. Present. All right. Holman Giron. Present. Very good. Uh, Lucy Natalie. Present. Very good. Magdaleno Escalante. Present. Very good. Nelson Antonio. Present. Very good. Oscar Armando. Present. Very good. 
Pamela Carolina. Present. Very good. Eh, Rosalina Alvarado. Okay. Selvin Adonai. Okay. Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Very good. Excellent. Okay. We are going to practice reading today. Okay, we already practiced grammar, we already practiced speaking, so it's time to practice reading. Reading comprehension. We are going to try to understand what we read. And we are going to talk about a product that is already declined. And the product is, oops, the iPod. <laughs> Do you remember the iPod? It yes. Is yes, I remember. <laughs> so, well, is the iPod already obsolete? What do you think? Yes. For sure. <laughs> it is, uh... Of course. <laughs> Definitely, right? So basically we don't use iPod anymore. People don't buy iPod, okay? So that is what we are going to do right now. We are going to read some information about these products. Before reading the article, let's see some vocabulary that is going to appear. Okay, and uh, the article. So we have the first word that is whimper. Have you ever heard that word? No, what's the meaning? I'm going no. to give you whimper. a clue. <laughs> that whimper. is the clue. <laughs> Whimpered. So whimper is a synonym of expressing pain or when you express that you are unhappy. It's similar, a synonym for whimper is cry, okay? Then we okay. have profits. What is the meaning of profits? Revenue. Mm, it's similar. It's, what, it's the money that you get for your business, right? It's a financial gain. Then we have this phrase, sales had dipped. What do you understand if I say, hey, the sales had dipped? What do you think? Almost, almost bankruptcy. <laughs> ah, very good, exactly. So the sales are bad. Right? So the cells declined. Okay? Then I have this phrase, looking over its shoulder. This is basically an idiom. Looking over its shoulder. What do you think? What is the meaning for that? In Spanish, is mirar la competencia or... Mm. Oh, no. no, it no, can be same. used in different contexts. Look at the picture. <laughs> what do you think? What happens to this person? Is happy? Is... When you are thinking so hard. I'm sorry. When you are thinking so hard about ah yes. So looking over its shoulder, everyone is when you overthink, when you are worried a lot. You are thinking about that, hey, something is going to happen. So you are worrying. That is the meaning of looking over its shoulder. So imagine if I say, hey, everybody, come on, don't look over your shoulder. I'm trying to tell you, hey, don't worry. Okay, don't think over much. Then we have disrupt. What is the meaning of disrupt? Interruption. Very good. And revenues. What is the meaning? Uh huh. Revenues. Benefits. 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 Sorry. Okay. Benefits, Erika. Increase your profits. That's the one. So there is a difference between revenues and profits, everyone. So basically, the revenues is the incomes that you generate in your business. And basically the profits basically is the money that you have after all the expenses, all the uh, discounts and deductions, 
Okay, that is the difference between revenues and profits. Okay, these are some of the words that are going to appear in the article. Let's go to the manuals, page 16. Okay, in this little paragraph, we are going to read about the iPod. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the first paragraph. Who wants to read? 12 years and 26 devices later, the generation defining iPod range looks like it's about to fade into history without so much as a whimper. I think all of us have now for some time that iPod is a declining business, said Apple boss Tim Cook in 2014, discussing the company's latest earnings report. He announced massive profits as ever, but noted that iPod sales had dipped 52% down on this time in 2013 with further drops expected. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Okay, whimper. What was the meaning of that word? Pain, crying. Ah, very good. Okay, look. Sales had dipped. What was the meaning? Decline. Go down. Mm -hmm. Very down. good. Profits. Decrease. Profit. Profits. Is the money before taxes before? <laughs> <laughs> is your cash? Is your I don't know. is your yeah. cash? I, I like no. that. Is yeah. your money after that? It's, um, it's, it's exactly if your money after all the deductions, the right? Deduction. After all your expenses. Very good. Okay, I need a volunteer for reading the second paragraph, please. Me, teacher. Yes. Mm, the iPod had been nervously looking over its shoulder for some time. When the iPhone has launched in 2007, Steve Jobs joked that it was the best iPod we've, we have never made. And he was right. With its apps and other smartness, the iPhone meant there was no longer any need to own an iPod as a separate device, so long as you could afford it. Apple wasn't afraid to create a product that would disrupt a successfully uh, existing business. Apple thought, if we don't do something, someone else will. Thank you, very good. Okay, look. Looking over its shoulder. What was that? Worry. To worry a lot about something. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. Okay, what happens to the iPod? What was the reason why the iPod declined according to this paragraph? What was the reason? Why did the iPod decline? But innovation. You... Okay, innovations. Hmm, what else? Because you have to, you have to need two device, for example, or separate device because the iPod is just for music and and the phone integrate at the, the uh -huh. iPod. <laughs> ah, so look. Basically, they invented the iPhone. And mm -hmm. the iPhone has different apps, different features. So basically, the iPhone had like an iPod inside of it, right? Mm -hmm. So people don't need an iPod anymore if they have that function a cell phone right very good okay i need another volunteer please for reading the last paragraph me teacher thank you go ahead and even today despite 
the dramatics 54, 52% fall. The IPO range still generates bitter news. And 963 uh, million, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, 973 uh, <laughs> out, out of Apple, total renews is just a minor sideline side or as a technology news site. The Birch put in a hobby, hobby <laughs> which led most people in the know to predict, predict that while Apple may not discontinue the iPod in the very near future, <laughs> we're unlikely to see a kind of significant update of the device. Thank you. So let me ask you, did the company discontinue the iPod? Yes or no? According to this paragraph, did the company discontinue the iPod? Remember, what was the meaning of discontinue? Take out of the market. Uh -huh. So did they do that? Did the company discontinue no. the iPod? No, in the paragraph say Apple oh. may not discontinue the iPod uh -huh. in the very near future. So they didn't discontinue. People are not buying the iPod <laughs> anymore. But I mean, I think that still there could be a, some random people, right? Mm -hmm. That they buy it. However, they don't pay so many attention on the iPod. I mean, they sell it like a hobby, right? <laughs> ah, yeah, let's sell iPod because they are pretty. But if you see, there are not significant updates on them. Very good. Imagine that you are the owners of Apple's company, okay? You have the iPod. What will be the best strategy for this product that is already declined? Co-branding, maybe? Co-branding, all right. And the rest of you, everyone, what do you think? What would be the best strategy? Innovation, very good. What else? Discontinuation. Discontinu okay. So basically you said, now nah, let's interrupt this product. Mm -hmm. Okay. It could be repackaging maybe for a specific market. Okay, could be. Just for runner. <laughs> <laughs> that could be an idea, yes. right? Yeah. Okay. Imagine if you decided to be like innovation, what type of uh, new features could you add to the iPod to make them like more interesting? What do you think? Imagine a camera maybe, I don't know. So you can take photos and listen to music. <laughs> I don't know, right? But if you see, those are some characteristics, those strategies that you can use in order to use when a product is already declined. Now, there was a practice that we had to do it, but we don't have more time for doing it. So we are going to jump to the last activity for today. And here- Please, I sorry. Yes. Me sorry, just just have a question. The verge put it was the meaning. The verge put it. The put it. In the paragraph. Yeah, in the in the paragraph. No, no. The ver the verge put it. Where in is the, it? Um, the last paragraph. The put verge. It? No, the verge. Verge is a name. Or oh, the, it's a proper name. Yes. Ah, okay. Basically, sorry. this is. <laughs> No worries. This is an article, right? They have the information from the new sites. The ver uh -huh. uh, the names of the new sites is The Verge. Uh -huh. That is okay. like the name of the website. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're Sorry. Welcome. No worries. Okay, everyone. I have here some questions. 
just to see if the topic is clear and totally understood. So I will ask randomly. I know that the first question is very easy. What are the four steps in the product life cycle? Volunteer for answering. Me? Fatima, <laughs> go ahead. Market introduction. Uh huh. Uh, in, in growth. Growth. Okay. Growth. Yes. Growth. Maturity. Okay. And the clear? Decline. Decline. That's correct. Very good. Fatima, pick one of your classmates, please. Mirna. Mirna. Thank you, Fatima. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Mir okay, Mirna, name a product or service that is in the decline stage. I could. <laughs> <laughs> I got <want> another one. <laughs> Um, the client stage mm -hmm. oh. could be a product or service. Um, oh, service. Uh -huh. Help her, everyone. What do you think? A product that is already in the decline <clears throat> stage, but not the iPod. <laughs> Another one. Decline. Mm -hmm. The office phone or the home phone. Okay. It's not so common, right? Maybe it's starting in the decline stage. Still, there are some people that use them, but uh -huh, it's not so common anymore. Very good. Okay, Mirna, did you find another <laughs> one or not? Yes. Which one? Let me see. Mm -hmm. Antonio uh, Rodas. Okay, Antonio. Name one strategy to face marketing saturation. Do you remember the topic? You ask the question, how is the plane? The second one. No, number three. Name one strategy to face marketing saturation. I will give you a clue. For example, buy, a, buy two and get one free. Two for one. Ah, two for one. What else? Everyone, do you remember? Hit the product. Which one? Hit the product. Mm, okay. Loyalty. Loyalty. Loyalty schemes. Yeah. Seasonal discount. Ah, very good. Okay, volunteer, what is global competition? In my own words. <laughs> of course, yes. Uh, it's when you have a lot of uh, competition that around the, the world, just uh, international competition. Ah, like a, that's the like, one. Exactly, international companies that they offer the same products maybe. Okay, everyone name five strategies to handle the decline stage. That is the topic that we study today. Lower prices, uh -huh. branding, for packaging? Yes. Uh, I missed the other one. <laughs> Innovation. <laughs> Innovation is missing one. Discontinuation. Uh -huh. <laughs> Parking or taking. I don't know. Yes, that is the one. Good job. Okay, the last question, is, and we are free. Co-branding. What is that? When so company joined to uh, create a new product. 
Aha, uh -huh. companies work together to create a new product. Excellent job, everyone. Very good, very good. Practice those questions. I can ask you the next week just to see that you don't remember, eh, that you don't forget it, okay? Yeah. Now everybody, it's Friday, so you had the weekend to continue working on the platform, so do it please and continue reviewing the topic so you don't forget now the winner to stay today is fatima <laughs> so fatima you cannot go the rest of you you can go to sleep have a good oh, night everyone you. see you until monday good have night. a beautiful week you have a good night thank you you, thank you. you too Bye. see you on monday have a nice weekend with you <laughs> Goodbye, goodbye. Only Fatima stays. See you guys. I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> All right. Goodbye, everyone. Okay, I think that they are listeners, so that's why they are still here. So, Fatima, this meeting is just to uh, answer some questions about the class that you may have or about the platform or anything in general. So, this is basically your moment. <laughs> so, go ahead. Do you yeah, have any questions? The platform is as, um, as the number two. Oh, so... in this week? Yes. Well, basically, uh, this is for the unit number one. That is the ones that you have to work. Only that one. So basically, it's just the section one that you have to complete. Look. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Only that one. If you want to start working, I mean, if you finish the unit number one and you want to start this section two, I mean, you can do it. But in this moment, for this week, Unit one is the is the uh, priority. Okay. On WhatsApp's group, I sent a, a picture. <clears throat> sorry, a, with the answers of the exercise that you were asking, so you can verify the answers. Don't forget the final point in each sentence, and you can verify it. If still you have issues or if still you have the incorrect answer, let me know and we can verify what is happening. Okay. Okay. Um, complete. Yeah. No. Sé. Oh. Uh, right now is complete. Your platform is done. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. I'm one. going to check right now. Let's see. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Fatima, Fatima, yes, look at this. You got a hundred percent, very good. So that's the idea. If you see, uh, that's what I need. Excellent job. If during the weekend you want to start checking the unit number two, I know that the topics, we haven't started the topic yet, but if you want to start working it, you can do it, right? Or you can wait until we check the topics. There's no problem at all, okay? okay? Very good. Now, about the class and the topics, do you have any question about it? Yes, teacher, I'm, I'm really difficult with um which one is countable and not and uncountable. countable okay yes i'm going to give you a key that helps me a lot for example um i count the problem with the countables and the uncountables is that sometimes in spanish is different a veces in spanish a todos le ponemos que son contables. <laughs> Incluso decimos aguas, las aguas. And that is not correct. Quiero dos aguas. <laughs> so, el problema es que hablamos mal en español y es por eso que se nos hace difícil hablarlo correcto en inglés. So, the keyword for uncountables, remember que los uncountables siempre van a ir en singular. So, si de repente usted ve una palabra que dice... Uh, what? Um, peers. Okay, peras. So you see the plural. Immediately you think, ah, no, it's not uncountable, right? Mm -hmm. Another key 
es puente. For example, imagine tenemos rice. Puede ir a la tienda usted y decir, deme two rices. ¿Puedo decir eso? No. No really, right? Puedo decir, ay, voy al restaurante y voy a pedir ten rices. Hmm. We cannot say that. So, si al contarlo usted ve que no tiene sentido, entonces es un uncountable. For example, la palabra grape. ¿Qué significa grape? Uvas. Ah, ¿puedo contar las uvas? Yes. Ah, very good. Puedo decir one grape, yes, two grapes, yes, and so on and so on. So, podemos contarlas. So, that is a key that can help you to identify the uncountables. También hay que tener en cuenta que los uncountables, por ejemplo, los líquidos, no se pueden contar. Eh, las carnes no las podemos contar. Algo que le puede ayudar también es, piense cuando usted va al súper. Si usted va al súper y dice, ah, deme una carne. <ríe> no, right? Compramos por libras, pero no por pieza individual. Entonces, ahí nos da una idea de que si son countables o uncountables. Teacher, y cuando dice expression non, non count, no. Ah, es lo mismo. Basically, esos son sinónimos. Usted puede decir uncountable or non countables, pero el significado es lo mismo. Es lo mismo con los countables. Ajá, entonces usted puede decir uncountables or non countables. Es lo mismo, son sinónimos nada más. Uh -huh. Si gusta, voy a buscar, hay un link eh, para hacer una practice, um, la voy a buscar y los voy a mandar al grupo de WhatsApp. Para que ustedes puedan practicar, les van a aparecer así como diferentes eh, objetos y ustedes deciden si son countables o uncountables. Al principio va a ser necesario así como que de memoria, ¿verdad? Que los vamos aprendiendo. Ya con el tiempo ya se nos va a ser bien fácil identificar si son countables o no. Así que voy a buscar um, un ejercicio que les pueda ayudar y así al fin de semana, si tienen un ratito libre, pueden practicarlo. All right. Yes, teacher. Very good. No sé si hay otro tema que les sienta que es difícil. Um, ahorita ese, ese me cuesta bastante. The countables and uncountables. Yes. It's normal, believe me. Creo que a todos nos pasa. Es algo complicado. Y como le digo, suele suceder because in Spanish, we speak incorrectly. So when we try to speak correctly in English, that's why it's difficult. Mm -hmm. But no worries, I'm going to search for some exercises. So that is going to help you, all right? Yes, it can. Thank very you. Very good. You're very welcome. Uh, I don't know if you have any other question or comment. Um, tal vez si sí me puede dar como ejercicios o para hacer ejemplos con wool rather wool rather okay mm, let's see voy a buscar ejercicios con wool rather el problema con muchos sitios web es que normalmente el wool rather lo combinan um, con otras frases como would prefer entonces, no quisiera mandarles un ejercicio que esté combinado con otro topic porque entonces los puedo confundir. Entonces, voy a buscar y se los voy a mandar al grupo por, para que practiquen, pero sí, creo que me va a costar un poquito encontrar uno que sea específicamente solo con Would Rather, porque como le digo, lo combinan. But I will try. Lo voy a buscar y se los voy a enviar al grupo. ¿Ok? Sí, teacher. Yes, no worries. So, uh, Fatima, you are doing great. You are participating a lot. I like that. Así que, don't get frustrated. You will get improving. You will get super good and super good job with the platform. Keep going. Quiero que siga así, okay? Thank you, teacher. Yes. Very good. <laughs> okay, we're going to stop right here, Fatima. I hope you had a good weekend and see you on Monday. Thank you, teacher. We'll weekend too. Thanks. <laughs> Good night. Bye-bye.